Welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. KKC Productions here. And I want to be a big thank you to all my subscribers and views on my most popular video, video, my home theater video. It is just pretty cool to see how many views you can get on something after I've tried so hard. Right now it says it's about 74,000 views right now, which is really well, and almost 200 likes on the video. So after that being said, it's been about eight months since that video has been uploaded, and I figured I'm going to do a quick update about what's in my room and some, some extras about the home theater and what's going on with that. So see you guys in a second, and I'll show you guys around. All right, so here we are, guys, in my room, once again from eight months ago. Everything looks quite a bit the same, just a few additions. So the first thing I want to get down to is this chair. I got a new home theater chair for my room, and the futon just wasn't doing it for me. So switch this out. It's not manual. It's got um, a hook. It'll side and I'll come out and open up. So, pretty much that. Makes it a lot easier for me to sit. There's the speakers in the side still in the corner. And then the next biggest part, as you can see, is up there. Up here we have my projector up on a mount. And it's very sturdy. That's not moving. I will have a link in the description and I will show you guys online exactly which one did I get and that'll work for that projector which works very well and I actually got some wire hide here put that up on the top and then also where I had the holes for that stand I had here I put some uh, cement stuff over that and I repainted it back to the room color and that's that as you guys probably know from my other videos there is my remote right here for all my stations for the projector and my sub and my front speakers all the setup here and recently I bought a, well not too recently but pretty back, there's a whole bunch of mess back there I have a splitter in the back that I can use for changing the output to the TV and then it'll automatically go straight to the projector without me having to switch HDMI ports so an output to the machine and also um, they come out of the, the projector and TV and also so let's come over here here's my computer setup that I finally finished pretty much besides this screen here but it seems to work really well um, I come down here I got my new mouse that came in yesterday set that up and I got a video for that already my keyboard there's all reviews for the keyboard, the mouse, my DAC here, going straight to my Audio-Technica headphones right here. And a PS3 camera for a webcam, which is actually pretty cool because I bound it up um, to Velcro on the bottom. And it sticks right to the top really well without me having to mess with it. And you can see my BenQ monitor, which works really well. And I did stick my sticker on the hard drive like I said I would. And there's my speaker. So I tried to do as much cable management as I could. Let's see if I can bring you to see how bad this is. All in the core. You can't see that from under. But that's the main thing. And then I have my microphone here. Right here for um, trying to make my sound sound better. My sound right now is probably not as good as it is. But eventually I will have a camera that will have better sound capabilities and recording. So I guess here's my whole room. And I really tried to make it work out really well. And, you know, that's probably about it. I just, I could bring the screen down and show you guys exactly how it, how it all comes together. All right, so here we are, got my screen down. And I'm gonna close this up so I can put the projector on. All right, so here I got my remote with all my different settings on here. So if I click my Chromecast button, it'll turn everything on for me, including the projector, which you can probably see blinking now. So give that a second to boot up, and eventually I'll 
hooked actually the Chromecast out and show you guys uh, the setup stuff I got for my projector. So that's booting up real quick. Just give that a quick second. All right, there we go. Shows the Chromecast. Let's turn the light off. It'll take a few seconds. I have it in zoomed mode. That is because it was the different setup, so I had to change that. I can actually change that through the receiver, which is really nice. There we go. All right, so let's see if I can load this up here. Go here, click the Chromecast button, and it'll cast right over to my Chromecast for me. So here it is. Um, here is the projector bound I got, which was purchased on June 6th. It is the Qualgear PRB717. They have raised the price up recently. I got it for a little bit cheaper than that, but that is the one I got. And let's go over to the next part. Let's see if I can show you the other one I have. And here is the splitter I got right here. It looks like it's a really cheap, actually, $12.55. And it's the Pora two-way splitter. So that's the one that works for that. And of course, my last part here, show you guys my YouTube channel. Oh, well, it's going to actually cast a video. So anyway, besides that, see, 73, it's about 74 now, but it's getting there. And from 2000 and... <laughs> 14. So, I want to thank you guys for all the views and subscribers, and also all the comments, which has really helped lately. So, that's basically that. I don't know, I've got to quick show you about the, uh, how the setup's going up here. It looks kind of funny because it's showing it right off the YouTube, but. I'll have to take that off in a second. All right, so that's the basic setup of how my projector's video is going, and I hope to see you soon.